All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Break 75, but tweaked for this week's episode. We're actually going to title it Break 70. And I'll tell you why. We're down here at Formby Ladies Golf Club. And I've said this a lot of times. This is genuinely one of my favorite places on the planet. Not only Formby Golf Club, but Formby Ladies. So this is a lady only golf club. You can only be a member if you are a lady. And the reception we get every time we're here from and the secretary is outstanding. It feels like coming home. It's like a really warm, fuzzy feeling. So me and Guy, today, we are going to play this golf course yes. and do our absolute best. Now, it's really interesting because if you were playing it off the scorecard, it's a par 71, but only 5,356 yards. However, for the men, the actual par is a par 66. We've played it once before off camera and you were going very much for the driver and bombing it route because a lot of these are drivable. The correct way to play it. Yeah. <laughs> I was very much the kind of conservative iron player, just, just tapping it down there. That's my play today. No okay. trouble. Irons off tees. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to have a mixture of going for it and playing safe. Okay. Um, there's not many golf courses right now, this time of year, in the UK that you can guarantee dry weather for the for the fact me and guy are both rocking the same brand new box fresh white echoes yes. because here it's bone dry even though everywhere else is underwater here in the uk at the moment because of the rain you can guarantee on form be being absolutely bone dry right without further ado first hole like this is what i mean this golf course this is a 266 yard par four very very easy to get on the green in one However, come, come here for a second. Come here for a second. It's not all like this, but check out this stuff. This is the rough that's in a lot of places. And not only rough like that, but this kind of like heather, kind of gauzy bushes as well, which if you are offline, if you're not on the fairway, you're in this. So yes, you can go with it with driver. You can play aggressive. You can try and, I don't know, overpower this golf course. However, do it at your peril, because if you miss fairways, you are in trouble. So, let's see how we get on today. I'm excited. I might regret saying this. At the moment, my hands are rough and, and worn out because the amount of golf balls I've been hitting. Genuinely, I've been putting the graft in. So, I mean, hopefully, it pays dividend out on the golf course today, but I have honestly been hitting so many golf balls. So, fingers crossed, that transcends into some good golf. Let's play well, enjoy it. And you, mate. Let's see if we can break 70. Very nice. Nearly hit a bird. <laughs> see, it nearly hit those birds. Yeah. Yeah, nice really good spot. Unlike Rick, my hands are pristine because I've not been hitting balls, but luckily for me, I possess natural talent, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Six iron. Right. Similar line to mine. Play ball. Okay, so we're almost neck and neck here. Pretty decent shots in. We've got about 85 ish yards to the pin. Looks good for distance. Oh. Oh, a bit short. Thought it was going to be good. I did, yeah. Okay, pretty much the same distance. over the green. Ah, that was good. I actually thought I'd flown that over the green then. Um, I'm actually right on the back edge of it. A little bit fiery, second shot of the day. I've been hitting a lot of golf shots and I feel like my strike and my direction is definitely improving. My distance control, certainly my wedge is yet not quite dialed. Um, I've probably not been putting quite as much time into that just yet. So up the hill, couple of Bumps to get over, speed control is key. Even though the greens are super dry, they're not gonna be rapid. And sit, whoa, quicker than I thought actually. I didn't think that was gonna get there at first. Go on, let's get some birdie sauce early devils. Guy, we should get a bit round there today. No, slow. Nice. I kind of always knew I was going to miss that. <laughs> Bogey on the first, nice start. 
Okay, so this holds a par five. How far is it, Rick? Well, it's 413, so oh, really it's, it's kind of a par. Again, if it was a par, if we were playing it as a par 71, it's a par five, but we're really playing it as a par 66. We'll play to the par of 71. We want to try and beat that, obviously, but realistically, our par score is 66. That's the score we're trying to get as close to as we can. Oh, so that's what you can't be doing around here. Oh, that's in some long stuff. Okay. I am going to go driver. That is also in the rough, but I think it's okay. So that first of mine might be gone. I'll have a look for it, but there's a chance it could be gone. So I'll go for a provisional. I'm going to go three iron this time, try and chase one down there. Shot. Sure. Doing that first. Yeah. Really nice. Okay, so my first ball was gone. That rough is brutal. Um, it's a short golf course, yes, but you have to be fairly accurate. If you're missing the fairways, you're just gone. I've got about 215 yards into the pin. I'm gonna try and get a four iron down. This is obviously my fourth shot now, so can't really afford him any more mistakes. Oh, it's thin. Oh, that's a bad shot. Nearly fell over. I've played here so many times, I didn't know about this ditch. And my ball, is there quite literally a, like i'm gonna have to stand down this hill to be able to even just get out to get at it right this really isn't easy i'm gonna have to grip right down on this club i'm pretty much on the bank of oh my god if this goes wrong i'm in the ditch <laughs> i feel like i might hit myself Shot. <laughs> wow. Pretty much hit that backwards. That's the best I could done. Uh, could have done without falling in the water. <laughs> okay, 181 yards. Nice six iron. Let's see if we can get up and down. Don't draw. Mm, don't like how that buried. <laughs> I'm making it hard for sales, Rick. About 70 yards or so in this real thick stuff, so need to hit it with strong hands and arms. No, not like that. <laughs> oh. I got here today feeling confident. The sun's coming out. It's a nice, crisp kind of winter's day. I thought I might have a good game of golf. So far, that's not the case. But there's time left, there's lots of time left. Okay, so I've missed the green to the side. I've actually bagged an unbelievable lie. I was worried it'd get buried. Come on, <laughs> damage limitation if we can uh, chip and put this. Just came out a little bit soft. Almost sat up too nicely. So last time I played, I chipped in twice. Chipping's feeling quite good at the minute. Another chip in would just be delightful from here. Oh, that took quite a, a bitey first bounce. Mm. Not ideal. Okay, so this putt is for a seven on a 420 yard par five. But if it goes in, I'll be fist pumping Rick. <laughs> I can imagine. Like I've won the open. <laughs> Oh, it just oh. needed hitting. Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting hole this because, like I say on on the scorecard, it's a par five. Really, it's a par four. The way we're sh we're playing it today, I think it's a par eight in my eyes. <laughs> so I got a par. <laughs> so this is for a five. I'm just going to call it a five. I'm not going to call it anything else. It just I just know it needs to go in. Yes, great five. Thank you. And, uh, Bit of everything that hole. Third hole, par three, 136 yards. Sun is smashing through now. It's gonna be a nice, nice day. Right, let me go wedge, full wedge. Don't draw. Back edge of the green. Okay, I'm gonna go for kind of three quarter nine. And for some reason, I don't quite like the idea of it in a wedge here, but Ricks did get there, but I'm gonna go for a soft nine. Squeezy, I like it. I like it. 
Yeah, nice shot. Yeah, it's not bad that. Pin high, quite a long way away though. Gonna give this a chance up the hill. Nice oh. putt. Give it a chance. He did. This would be a nice bounce back. Just inside your um, marker, let it kind of fall around. Up, up, up. Oh! oh. <laughs> Jeez. I thought it was always low. And as it got to there, it was kind of just hanging I know, on. I was like, I thought it was just staying low too much. <sighs> Yeah, nice. That was a little palate cleanser just to get the, kind of, <laughs> the game back on track. In between. Now the birdies start, the eagles start. Maybe you're holding one. I don't know. <laughs> Fourth hole, beautiful little par four. Uh, just kind of slightly kind of dog leg to the right, and then the green sat on a nice little plateau. That'll work. Wasn't your best hit ever, but that's fine. Yeah, it's a safe one. It is very safe. What did you hit? I hit a skinny five. Skinny five, okay. I'll go for a little skinny <laughs> six then. Yeah. Should be neck and neck. Okay, so, so far this hole we've played very professionally. I hit my six iron here, Rixie's five iron there. I've got one ten. Looks good. Oh, it looks excellent. Thank nice you. shot, mate. Okay, let's give, me a, let's give me a nice marker to go for. 98 yards, little sand wedge. Oh, that's coming nice. Shot. Spin. Just hoping it's going to have a little bit more sauce on it. Okay, so so far this hole's been quite tidy from the pair of us. Two decent tee shots, two nice second shots, and hopefully two nice putts to follow. And that is how we need to play this golf course, plot our way around, and I think birdies will come. Just can't be hitting that rough, it's just silly. Okay, Rick, double birdie sauce, please. Let's do it. Try and hold my part of the deal first. No. Lucky, mate. It wasn't a horrendous roll, no. but... It's always just looked on that low side. Birds again. Dead straight, downhill, birdie putt. It's moved a little bit, I think I pulled it. Came left off the face. Ah, I think as I slowed down because I was scared of the hill, I shut the face. It's a par. It's a par. Okay, I'll try and join you. Sorry, I will join you. Yep, nice. Thank you. Nicely done. Next hole is honestly one of the best par threes you'll ever see. It's gorgeous. Okay, gorgeous little par three here. I love how this green's kind of just set up on this little hill. Left, you've got a huge bank and it's covered in rough. So if you go into that, it's not gonna kick down. Anything short right, it's down into the valley. Distance control and line is key. It's 117 yards. I feel comfortable with this 50 degree wedge. I'm just gonna go straight at it. Good swing, Matt. Yeah, it's the right length, stay there. I actually think it's a tiny bit long. Do you think? Yeah. I think it's very long. Let's put the spanner in the works for me then. I don't quite fancy hitting my 50, so I'm gonna go for a three quarter pitching wedge. It's up, it's good. And it will be up. And it will be good. Nice shot, mate. Spun Thank back you. Back into the sunshine. That pin is evil, actually. It's really bad, it's isn't it? It's just on the front edge. Okay, both on the green. I actually honestly thought mine was too long. I thought I'd hit it way past the flag. We're in a good spot, we've got two nice looks at birdie here. So for this putt, I'm gonna to commit to, not being high, I just wanna hold the putt, but... Um, top side. Top side of the hole, that's, that's the right right phrase. But more importantly, it's gonna end in the hole, we'll get a birdie too. Oh. Hit the golf ball. It was bang on. <sighs> get another good look at birdie here, just right to left. Oh, it didn't break. It's exactly where I aimed it. I can't believe that didn't break that time. Yeah. But no, it wasn't. Two pars on the card, steadied, like you say, ship definitely steadied. We've got a nice little run of holes now where they're not overly long, a couple of par fours where you can just kind of get a good tee shot away and you really should only have a few wedges into the green. It's a good test this today where kind of maybe 
I'm going through quite a lot of swing changes. I know you've not been playing loads at the moment. It's kind of one of those golf courses that you have to you have to stay concentrated, and you you do inevitably if you want to make birdies, you've got to hit good shots. Absolutely. Six hole par four, 405 yards off this tee requires just a really nice shot into the fairway. I'm going to go three iron. I think guys go insane. Just over that bunker, we can see a little draw is perfect. I think it's bad enough, it's all right. I really didn't fancy it. I kind of wanted to hit driver there. I wanted to go over the trees, but it's a risky shot. It never felt comfortable without three iron. Not your best, but it's a good position. Yeah, it's a little bit skinny, but take that. Yeah, you're good. Okay, so my tee shot's gone here. Rick's pretty much level with me a little bit on the other side of the fairway. We've still got like 200 yards left in, so it's going to be a long shot. It's a tough hole, it's a very tough par four. Probably should have hit a three wood maybe, or even a driver, but we went with irons. So I'm going to hit four iron in. Strike. Oh, it's an amazing shot. Yeah, that was hit. That was hit good. <laughs> Happy with that one. I'm actually going to go five iron because I'm just in the rough. I feel like it might jump on me a touch more. If we can land it short and chase it up, happy days. Not trusting that move. Ah! Oh, it dug its teeth in early, should be all right. Okay, kind of got lucky. <laughs> I'm here. I'm, I'm one foot away from total disaster. But this isn't, come have a look at this lie. This isn't, this isn't pretty. This is really, can you even see it? <laughs> this is really kind of nestled down. I'm just going there to the pin, so it's not a long shot, luckily. I'm just saying then, I've been working hard on my swing at the moment. There's two things I'm changing. Shut face going back, and I feel like I'm doing that really well. And I need to try and feel like I'm almost swinging across my body, cutting across it. That's the bit I'm not fully trusting yet, hence why I might hit a couple of left shots today. I can do it in the simulator, but doing it on the golf course is a bit of a different animal at the moment. It'll come. Okay, interesting little shot here. It's going to land it just short and let it hop round. And I didn't commit with speed. Ah, I'd normally put this, but I'm trying to force myself to chip a little bit more. Heavy-handed. Okay, so that four iron I hit from back there was probably one of the best four irons I've hit for a very long time, actually. Now's a chance of a birdie. Do it. Oh, Always low again, Rick. What was that? Was that coming in from the left? Moving right? I had it as... So initially, I had it as coming in from the left but I think it slightly came in the opposite way, this little slope here. Yeah. I was kind of looking at that, I was thinking it's going to break in a minute, and never yeah, did. Yeah, no, I think I got the break wrong. I had it the same as you, but... Okay, this is really to avoid damage limitation here for a five. Terrible. That is a really bad six. Ah. Seventh hole, par four, 248 yards to the pin. Oh, I feel frustrated with that last hole, but never mind. Um, what are you going to go with, Guy? I'm going to go with a five iron and stick with the play I've got. I'm being like Tiger at Hoy Lake, Rick. Okay. I like it. Shot. Thank you. Should be nice. I might change my tacks. I might just start playing really aggressive. In fact, I am. Driver only season. As he hits his three wood. <laughs> well, I don't need driver on this one. I shouldn't do it anyway. Well, that is not where you want to miss it. You can't miss it anywhere, really, but right, kind of short side you a little bit. Okay, so I'm over the moon with that five iron. I pretty much am in position A. The only problem now I've got really is I either hit like a 58 degree wedge and kind of fizz one in, or play like a bit of a bump and run one. If I play a bump and run one, then that bunker very much comes into play. If I go with the 58 degree kind of smooth one, 
I just feel a little bit scurdy and it heavy, which I don't like to admit, because I, I shouldn't think like that. Okay, be positive, guy. 58 degree wedge. Yeah, super shot. Okay, I'm actually pin high with the three wood there. I've just come into this kind of first, I don't know, just sticky stuff just off the side of the green here. If I was a couple of feet left, I'd have actually just had a nice lie. I'm just in a little sticky lie here. I've got two bunkers to navigate. I'm actually going to go through the bunkers. I'm going to use the contours and try and go through them. Um, see if we can get closer than Guy's shot. Is it a really nice one there? Mm. Not a bad effort that from there at all. It kind of came straight right, weirdly. I want it to be much further left than that. We're on the green, we've got a look. See if we can bounce back after that bad last hole. Great putt. That was in all the way. Nice. Great putt. Felt like I needed, needed that little confidence booster. You did. That would have been a frustrating four from there. Come on, join me, guy. I'd like to. Should be doing, really, from here. No. Oh, guy. I can't buy a putt today. Oh, I keep knocking at the door. One's got to drop eventually. It really has to. Eighth hole, 433 yards. Again, it says par five on the marker. It's kind of a four and a half hole, this. Um, straight down, literally dead straight. Driver's in hand. Great shot. Oh my God. <laughs> Absolutely buried. That buried. Okay, so I'm going for the three iron. Um, I'm enjoying it nine off the tee so far. I'm going to stick with that play. Yeah, nice kick back in. I'll hit provisional. It bounced. So it's one thing like, because you're not used to hitting drivers around there. When you do, kind of feels like there's a lot of emphasis on it. Um, I'm going to stick with that tactic, hitting driver. <laughs> I found it on the left. I'm going to have to hack it out. Oh, get down. That's come out so good. Sit. Sit. Oh. Never thought it was going to come out that good. Okay, so I've got about 2.30ish left into the flag. So I think the play is going for another three iron and try and advance it down there. Again, it is a par five for us today, this, so anything down there would be good and then we can try and chip on. Oh, it's come out well, but just a bit left. That's okay though, gives me a chance to pitch on and then maybe hold a birdie putt. Maybe get a par, who knows? Okay, 102 yards. Just annoyingly, like I say, it came out so good out that rough. Come on to the other side. Pins at the front. I'll just try and land it about 95 and then let it just hop on. Up and down would be key from here. Oh, it'd be the good number. Be a good number. Yeah, good shot. Come out nice, that. Okay, so that three iron has actually done quite well in terms of distance. It was a bit pulled, but that's okay. I'm going to loft one over this little bunker and hopefully get this birdie that I can't seem to get. Nice, great I'll shot. Do. Okay, two nice looks at four here. Mine's just a little bit right to left. Yes, back to backs. Thank you, just caught enough of it. Thought I'd just left that out right a little bit then. Come on, guys, this is... I do need to drop one eventually, so getting a bit silly. <laughs> it's a good sign you're giving yourself plenty of chances. Well, that, yeah, true, making pars at least. Yeah, yep. nice, well done, mate. Thank you. I need one. Two good fours. Like it's kind of hot. Birdies, were you saying they're birdies? Birdie, absolutely birdies. Okay. Not see the source crumb the hole. <laughs> that was a birdie. Okay, ninth hole, par four. 
319 yards, but it's very interesting. You, you kind of 218 yards to the end of the fairway. Then you've got like the Himalayas, load of hills, rough. Then over that, you've got the green. Um, I'm just going to hit driving for the rest of the round. I'm sick of it in irons. Not patient enough, me. So it's either going to become a very good round or a very <laughs> bad round quickly. Uh, I'm just going to try and smoke driver. Stay right at the flag if I can. It's fine. Okay, so again, I'm going to go for the, the patient route. I'm going to go for the irons off the tier. Just plop the way around. Oh, a bit blocky. That's a weird one. That's, that's so nice as well. Right next to the marker. Yep. That's weird. That was weird. Okay, so I've got mine. I've got 134 to the flag. Oh, actually, I can't really see the flag. However, it's actually a really, really long, tall flag. So from here, I can see it. It's over the middle of that little hill in front of me. So a nice committed three-quarter um, nine iron, I think, is the one. It's not a very easy lie, this, though. Oh no, topped it completely. Oh, that wasn't good. I didn't feel good over that, I'll be honest. I didn't feel good on it at all. Oh, better. That needs to be all over it. Don't know about that being all over it, but I think it should be on the green. What a fool. That's a proper, proper top. Just replay it now and laugh at me. What a fool. Okay, 79 yards into the flag here. Just at the top of this enormous flag. Um, <clears throat> just get a nice distance control on this. Little, little three quarter, 56 degree wedge. Little one of them. Little one of them. That's a nice shot, that. That looks all over it. Not bad. I think I probably pitched it 80 yards and it's just jumped on. Okay, so after that top, that recovery was actually really good. So if I hold this power putt, it will feel like a birdie. And it'll be, this will be a fist pump. <laughs> it'll be a hell of a, a hell of a par off the top, in it? What happened with the top? So the ball was literally, it was so far below my feet. I tried to like hit a nine iron and grip up it to make the club ah. longer. I just literally just topped it. Tough shot. But I'm a rock and roll golfer, Rick. So now I'm gonna sink this. <laughs> nice work. <sighs> Best time of life. Okay, up the hill, right to left. Short. Ah. Short. Didn't quite commit to it for some reason. In for par. Two pars on the card. Two different yep. ways of doing it. <laughs> okay, nine holes completed. Um, I've had 37 shots. Okay. So what's, the, what was, what's the well, par? The par on the card is 36. So I've had 38 shots. So just play to par and then it is what it is. The goal is to definitely break 70 though, right? Par, par five, tenth, straight down. Come on. Oh, that's a good hit. Hold your line. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah, it's on the fairway. Yeah, that's nice. Didn't quite catch it still, but we're on the fairway. Okay, that 150 marker with a nice cut peeling off it. No, that's not too much. Well too much. Oh, I completely lost it. It was in line with the yellow flag. Yeah, I thought so. Hello, and welcome back to Guy's Wild Adventures. You joined me here on the wrong green. Um, got away with it really, I pushed my shot massively off the tee, I thought it would be this long grass behind us, I've landed, luckily I've made a massive pitch mark on the fringe and I've come onto this green, so obviously I'm not going to hit it from the green, so I will take a drop, just about here, to the side, and now I've got about 180 left into the correct green, I'm going to go with a 5 iron. It's a bit short, but it's okay. Okay, 142 yards into the pin here. The wind, I mean, it's not a lot, but it's just picked up, and because it's so cold, that wind, 
I actually do think it's going to affect the flight. Obviously, guys there even just came up a bit short. I did have nine iron in my hand. I've gone for eight. I'm just going to play a little, a little flighted one. Let's hit the green. That's the, the most important factor here. Oh, no, 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 no. Please hit the green. Okay, so my five iron came to here. It wasn't actually a great strike, so I was quite happy to get it on line with the hole. Now I'm quite a funny little pitch. There's a bit of a little blank leading up to the hole. I'm gonna drive a 50 degree wedge into it. Try and get this close. Oh, nice touch. Thank you. Pulled it slightly, but hit it pretty perfect. So there's a good chance for a four there. Feels wrong kind of birdie, because it's a very, very short par five, but it is for a birdie. Really disappointing iron shot there into the green. Shouldn't have been missing the green there from 140. In hindsight, I should have just hit a nice nine. I tried to hit too much of a soft fiddly eight iron. Okay, just pop it up on top of the hill. Let it roll up to the flag. Keep going. Tried, just started a little bit too far right. Not bad for distance. Right, Rick, these puts off a four. Yeah. Is it for a par or is it for a birdie? Well, in my opinion, they're for birdie. I don't know. Because really, again, you know, the scorecard for us is a par 66, not a 71. Which would naturally mean this isn't a par five. But so why is the par on the tee when we teed off? What tees are we playing? <laughs> we're playing off the red tees. This is a par five. <laughs> I mean, the good thing is we're playing off the, the back tees. Well, yeah, let's let's see if is this it, goes. This the goes in. Available. We'll source it. I mean, you can add the sauce if you wish. <laughs> if you have to add the sauce, <laughs> it's a four. That's all I'm saying. That's all, that's all I've got. Putting today, guys. It's not been your strength, has it? It really hasn't. It You've really hasn't. Got longer bar, like pat that pound last, but. Still a par. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's annoying. I don't feel bad over the ball either. I just can't. It's not staying on line. Oh, at least we've got a good head cover. 11th hole, par four, 307 yards. I'm going to just go for it. I'm just going to smash it straight over the hill. I can see the top of the flag. Let's, let's carry on making some more birdies. Right was good. <laughs> Nowhere near. Oh, Middle of the fairway. <laughs> That's what you meant to do? Oh, I actually thought I might have had a chance for a minute, but no, middle of the fairway. <laughs> it's cold. Do you know what I mean? The ball doesn't travel as far. That's what I'm putting it down to. Okay, I'm gonna go for a four iron um, and try and get it on the fairway as well. Be a long shot in, but should be okay. Yep. Rick, we've said it once, we've said it twice, we've said it a million times, but how good is this golf course in this weather? I mean, this weather itself, I mean, we're in November, not many days you get sunshine like this. It makes it, you appreciate it a lot more. And to come out on a golf course that's so dry. Yep. It's actually crazy. How are your shoes looking? Fresh. Can we see them on here? Hopefully we can. Oh yeah, we can, wow. Too white. And what model are they? They are the C4s. Echo Biome C4. Just uh, very, very, very comfortable. Good. Very comfy. Okay, so I have got around 111-ish yards. Rick's much further up here with a driver, obviously. It's like a full 50 degree, this. A little bit windy into a little bit uphill, so we're gonna have to be at every single piece of it. And it was. Get up, get right, get up, go. Yeah. It's okay, a bit left, but. Should be all right. So just come up short, well, quite a bit short of the green, actually. I think I hit it two up in the air. It didn't quite get the distance. A little pitch on the front edge of the green here. Let's see if we can put one close. Not there yet. Okay, take two.
Ah, annoying. Very annoying. After two dreadful little pitches, we've got this for par. See if we can salvage something. Oh, right online. Ah, silly five. Okay, I would say this was a birdie chance, but the way I've put it today, apart from one putt, I've not hold anything. So expectations aren't too high, but let's see what we can do. Go. God, that was a bad putt. Par it is. Okay, so this golf course, again, we've said it a million times, it's so nice. But this hole in particular, it, this could, this is a great hole in any golf course. Gorgeous par three. It's insane. It's in this little kind of like bucket. There's bunkers to the right, bunkers short left. It is quite appetising. The flag is just inside the sunlight. The rest of the back of the green is in the shadow. Let's get one in, Rick. Great strike. A bit pulley. Uh, it's okay, that. Yeah, it's feeding in nice. Yeah. Okay, really need to... Forget the last hole and bounce straight back with a birdie. Or a one. Stay there. Yep. Yeah, pretty good for distance, I think. It's mad I thought yours had got over that. I did, to be honest with you. A little ridge. I feel like today, for some reason, I'm like half a club short of my irons. I don't quite know why, because I've been it quite nice, but yeah. I don't feel like I'm... Oh God, I'm in that puddle. <laughs> okay, so I've actually come up a little bit short here, which is a little bit of a surprise, but it's okay. Um, it probably should be a putt, in honesty. It really probably should. But I'm going to try and flick a little 50 degree in. Nip one. Bit of a back foot and just drive one forward and just try and get it in the hole, ideally. Oh, just chunk it. That's pathetic. You catching what I've got? That's Ooh. not like you, that guy. It's not. So I've just finished this little puddle. I can take nearest point of relief, no nearer the hole, which is kind of over here. Not far about, not far from where it pitched, to be fair. We'll go here. Nice look at birdie. One that I feel like a, a need for my soul after the last hole. Okay, big putt for par this. No. Look at that. Eh, eh. Oh, look you. Right, this is fairly straight. Uh, I think it's going to be a touch slower than the other green, just because of the, the wetness. Let's give it a run. Uh oh. Moved a touch. Did a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Around the world a little bit, but it's in for par. 13th hole, par four, down the hill, slight dog leg left. Three, eight, four. I'm gonna hit three iron and just try and chase one down there. Driver staying in the bag for a couple of holes. Naughty driver. Oh, that's terrible. Got away with that so bad though. <laughs> Chase. Yeah, it's position A, really, I was <laughs> hit with golf shot Z. I nearly missed that. It was almost the closest to a fresh air shot you've seen. Okay, so follow that. That's, to be honest with you, without finish would be perfect, really. Try and cut one. Great strike. That was hit so well. <laughs> and it's not going as far as Rick's thin. <laughs> it's a proper golf shot, you see. Height and spin. Oh, that's, <laughs> you should have not. I'm surprised you didn't knock that fast for me. I hit mine so bad. Right. Interesting one. One over par now. It's on the scorecard, as in, if I'm playing it to the actual scorecard of 71, one over par. I really want to sh shoot in the 60s. So I need to pick up a couple of birdies coming home. There's no more of these kind of gettable par fives. There's a couple of short par fours coming up and a, and a, a little dinky par three as well. So there's chances, but got to convert. No more mistakes. 
Okay, I'm gonna go for a soft seven. I'm kind of in between clubs really, but I feel, I said to it before I think off camera that hurting it quite nice today, which is good, but I feel like I'm probably half a club shorter than normal for whatever reason, so. Go like for a nice. Wind, the wind shifted a bit as well. Yeah. It's kind of into before. Now it's slight, it feels slightly down on this hole. I want to go for a really committed swing. It's all I'm thinking about, just commitment. That's nice very up. fat. But the good thing was it's very straight. So yeah. every cloud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 166. I have got a tide in my hand. I feel like the wind just feels, it just shifted a bit, like it's almost like it's helping. Got to be on the green. Got to be making birdie, come on. Skinny, but might work. Ah. It's on the green, but it's short. You can't go over two skinny ones on one hole, no, though. So that's the law of averages. It's only fair, so. t shirt did well. That's not horrendous, though. Hey, guy. Few holes to play. Mm. What are you now? Let's go. Three over, um, which would be 74. I think it should be close to 70 though, shouldn't it really around here? Yeah, I feel like we, we're hiding behind the score, <laughs> the number on the scorecard. Shut down the one. <laughs> as opposed to the actual par, which is really off for the men's 66 round here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been interesting. I've, I've thrown in a double, you've thrown in a, was it a triple? A triple, yeah. Missed a few ports and. So it's just been a bit, not quite firing all cylinders, but still plenty of holes to play and still plenty of birdie chances. That's what we need, birdies, plenty of them. Okay, so my fat seven iron that wasn't committed at all, it was terrible, it's come up quite a bit short. I think I'm gonna to have to play the kind of more sensible shot here. I do wanna hit like a 50 degree, but after that fat a couple of holes ago, I've lost a bit of confidence. So try and play a bit of a kind of a bump and run with a nine iron. Let's get to roll up towards the flag. Oh wow, took some weird bounces, but. Doing its best. It's okay, it's kind of a six and a half out of 10, I'd say that. Maybe a seven. Birdie port, but a bloody long one. There's a little ridge that guys just didn't quite get over that I feel like you've got to just pop it over. So speed is key. Oh. Nearly went in, but definitely didn't nestle it close. The greens are, are interesting because, I mean, they're so dry. But this time of year, I'm expecting them to be kind of slow, but they're really not. Right, my point today has been woeful. That changes now. And it does. Changes now. Needed par, got the par. Okay, pretty much dead straight. Returning putt. Oh. <laughs> Did that actually miss? Ah. Oh. Well, there you go. There you go. I actually can't believe that missed. It looked like, it, if anything, right at the end it was going to dart left, and it. Anyway. Okay, so this par four is another short one, 298 yards. Let's call it 300 for round figures. Um, I'm gonna go for a six iron, believe it or not, and try and knock one down there and plot my way. Six iron should go about 180, leave myself 120-ish left in. Oh, terrible. Get down. Should not be missing the fair with a six iron like that. Oh, it's findable, but it's Ooh. not great. Okay, I'm gonna go three iron. Really need to make some birdies. That's annoyed me tremendously that last hole. As a couple have on this back nine. Straight that bunker in the distance. It's worked. That'll be fine. It's absolutely worked. BA1 again. Okay, so I found myself in this terrible line. I did that thing, probably everyone watching has done it because I was hitting such a short iron off the tee with a six iron. I almost didn't think about where I was hitting it, it just hit a shot and it ended up here. I should have really focused a lot better. Um, I have to just chip out now, this stuff is, although it doesn't look it, it's quite brutal. It's dead like strong. So I was going to hit like a, a 50 degree and literally try and chip it forward. Almost nowhere near where Rick is. Oh, f I 
to do it again. That's actually going to be good if it misses that trap because it's so thin. Could have got away with that one. 92 yards, second shot into this green. Come on. It's a nice little three quarter sand wedge. One hop, stop, get it close. Don't go big. Sorry, that. Good for distance, just a bit left. Okay, so this has been a bit of a disaster, this hole. What should be a very straightforward hole is has not been for me, really. So I've got to try and get this one close and then knock a bird you put in. Oh, hole, this one for par. Nipped a bit too much. It was a good strike, that. Okay, look for birdie here. Not a lot of break. I've kind of felt like I've under red putts though today. I feel like I'm reading them with very little break. So I'm, I think, if anything, it's going to fall off from the right so i'll give it a little bit of respect up the hill this will be a timely birdie great pot great pot timely birdie juice what the doctor ordered yeah that was important that one go on guy knock it in okay i need this for a bogey and this again will be a big pot every pot counts Oh my God, that was in all the way. How was that for a bogey? Because I was, I topped one in the, oh. my first. So that's a dub. I didn't see that. Yeah, like I topped it, it, was, it just went about two yards. Oh. It's so, it's so it's brutal. Honestly, it's horrible. I literally just topped it. And then I must admit I topped the second one, but it kind of had loads of top spins. It ran all the way to there. Oh. Yeah, that was a bogey, a double bogey, sorry. 15th hole, par four. Couple of bunkers down the right, one down the left. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna plop my way around these last few. Might hit driver on the 17th, but through iron, into play, let's see if we can wedge it up and down again. Whoa, get down. Fine. No, I think it's just snuck in. Has it? Yeah. I really didn't think those bunkers were in range, but it just came out like a bullet. <laughs> just come out hot, that club. Okay, I'm going for a four iron. Could do a steady in the ship a little bit here. A couple of birdies to finish would just be absolutely delightful. That should be all right, that. Bit yeah, of a bad strike, there. but I'm happy with it. The result. Yep. Okay, I, I went far too conservative off the tee there, hitting four iron. I've got like 200 yards left in. That was a silly choice. Um, I've hit five iron now. Okay, let's get a good strike. I've got the good strike. That's one of the best golf shots of my life, that. Has that oh, got there? Mega. Good. I can't quite tell how far, but it's right on line. It was so good. That was hit so well. Oh my days. Some people say lucky, I'd say judge to perfection. I did think I'd snuck in the bunker, but I'm just half a yard away from it, thankfully. 136 yards to the pin, tucked at the back. Just gonna hit a nice little pitching wedge. Oh, great shot, stay there. Just trickle through a bit, but. I think it's good, is it? Okay, so I don't wanna exaggerate things. That five iron genuinely from the best golf shots I've ever hit. It was 205 yards away. It was so online, as you can see. A little bit short of the flag, but honestly, I was so happy with that. If, big if, if this goes in for a birdie, Rick, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I'll strip. Top coming off? Yeah, top off, pants off. Box shorts left on, don't worry. Okay. Come with the mouse. Come with the owl, come with the mouse. <laughs> I'd still take par, to be fair. Nice. Birdie opportunity here after a very nicely judged wedge shot, to be honest. Slightly right to left. I'd love to hold this. I would love to hold it. Yes! <laughs> love to hold it. Last roll, went in, get that sauce from the hole, from the cup. 
Perfectly judged. Well done, my friend. <laughs> that is good goal. Nice little dinky par three coming up next as well. Hole in one time, baby. 16th hole, par three, 127 yards. Pinch just took behind that bunker. And the wind's into and off the left. I feel like pin high left of the flag is a good yep. place to leave this. Yeah. Or in the hole. Or in the hole. I'm just going to go left, left side of that bunker and just get the distance right. Oh, pulled it. Oh, pulled it. Damn. Okay, so I'm going to go for a full pitching wedge and drive one in there. Half enough. Uh, get over. Yeah, it's done well. Yeah, it's a bit short. I didn't quite think I'd get the little wedge, but then nine fell. Too oh, much. Should have done better. Okay, uh, annoying shot there. It pitched just on the green, and then I just, it's just a bad, a bad shot, unfortunately. When I needed one the least. Just off the green, a little bank to get over, and then plenty of green to work with. I mean, let's see if we can chip one in, eh? Stranger things have happened. Yeah, not a bad effort. Just needed to jump that bank. It just came out a bit low. Okay, so my kind of scorecard's gone a little bit south. But this, this could turn things around. Very, very outside chance of a birdie. And the way I've put it today, it's not even a chance of a birdie. However, things can change. A leopard can change its spots, Rick. Sure can. Oh, <sighs> thought you had it. At least I gave it a run. Okay, par put. Up the hill, right to left. I don't really want to drop any stupid shots. We'll hold it then. I shall do that. Good. Yaz. He came, he saw, he conquered. Who is this guy? Needed that after a bad iron shot off the tee. Felt like I would have been very disappointed with anything less than par then. Okay, let's just tidy this up. Yeah, hold on, mate. Two Thank to you. go. Drive, somewhat drivable par four, and then a really nice last hole to finish. 17th par four, 322 yards. Just a bit into breeze. I really wanted to get driver and give it a rip. I brought driver up, but I just think there's too much trouble down there. I'm going to throw iron, wedge it in, make another birdie. Birdie, birdie finish is, I think, what's needed for me and Guy, really. I mean, not needed, but it'd be nice. Okay, straight over that bunker, a little draw. Just knew I was not gonna hit that well. Sit. it. I've got away with them today, though. Such a bad shot, though. About 200 yards, I might need this club again. <laughs> oh, terrible. Time has come to stand up and deliver. Same as me. That was not bad though. Ah, it's just a good wedging out of this because it might fly a bit. Thing is, with nine, I've got to like tinker too much. If I play a really low flight wedge, I can get it there. Yeah, really low flight. <laughs> it's got there though. Got there comfortably. Okay, not brilliant. Putting though found the heather once again but this time actually in an all right light it's almost like just normal rough really so i can be aggressive i can go for it i can hold it if i wanted to i can put it close get a birdie what do you want me to do par birdie or eagle you say it uh birdie birdie yeah good okay about 129 yards nice wedge birdie coming right up so i wanted to hit it to the right and hold a massive pull that was the plan Yep, that's fine. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> About 50 yards right and then hold a big putt. That's how I'm going to make it birdie today. Well, pl well planned out. Thank you. Okay, I said my birdie was going to come from a long putt. I've actually changed it now to a 50 degree chip. So this will go in now and that will be my birdie. Oh, great effort. <laughs> Had to go for it, giving it all that. It was never going to happen, but it would have been funny if it did. Okay, long range birdie putt here. 
for I don't know, good for distance, unbelievable for distance to be honest, but terrible for line with that wedge. Pretty much up the hill, not a lot of break to it. See if we can box it. Come on, give it a chance. Give it a whack. Give it a whack. Oh, it's not bad. Oh. Stay. Damn. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for a nonchalant par now. I was dying to walk that one in. The scorecard's gone, the head's gone. It's all fun and games now. Okay, for par, clean up this little two and a bit footer. Oh. Even hit the hole. Nonchalant. Nice. 18th. Last hole, par four, pretty much dead straight down. It's bunkers that go across the fairway about 250. Um, yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? Yeah, happens, doesn't it? It does. Four puts happen. I bring a hat with that on, with that written on. Never mind. Worst things happen in the world. Right, go on then, guys. Okay. Finish strong. Three iron. At the little clock, bit of draw. I talk a really good game, don't I? Incredible. I talk such a good game. Yeah, and finally, great. I've delivered it. Really nice strike. That was exactly what I said, to be honest with you. Yeah, perfect. Well done, mate. Okay, three iron as well. Similar shots, guys. Just be okay. snuck in, I think, but well, might be on the safer side. Okay, so my scorecard's not been great today. I think I, well, I'm sure it'll be up here somewhere. I think I'm currently six over, which would be a 77, which in reality, I think is more like 11 over, because it should be a par 66, really, but whatever. Not hit many great shots. None for the highlight reel, anyway. Maybe this could be the time. I've called a lot of shots today, and I've not hit any of them. This could be the time. 115 yards, wind behind, nice committed 50 degree. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not quite highlight reel, but the next reel down. Okay, not a great iron shot. Kind of just in this first, first, first light bit of heather before it got to the medium bit, before the heavy bit. So not terrible, 100 yards on the nose. Uh, today's been weird. <laughs> I'm technically, compared to the scorecard, two over, but compared to the men's par, I'm seven over, which is probably about right. I've not played great today, annoyingly. Uh, obviously, two double, two silly double bogeys, one being on the last after that four put, another early on in the round. Handful of birdies. Let's see if we can finish with one more birdie. Oh, it's come out so weird. <laughs> Got halfway. Ah, didn't know I was going to react to that heather. Needed to hit that a little bit firmer. Ah, that was a bit weak. I should have hit that much firmer. Should have hit it full hundred yards rather than landing it short and chasing it up. Club just got got snagged then in that rough. Little chip from the front of the green. Well, that's a shame. Nice strike that as well. Okay, hope for the last put of the day. Back up the hill. Fairly straight for a 73. Two over slash really kind of seven over. Ah, never mind. <laughs> ah, nice finish. Okay, I think this is for a seven. This is for a birdie. I think it's for seventy-six. I'm sure the scorecard will be up there correct though. No, never gonna. Oh, <laughs> oh almost. You say never. Well Thanks, done. mate. Very nice. Pleasure. That was fun. Great golf course. Definitely, if you want to come and play here, check it out. Formula Ladies, unbelievable course. We'll see you next time. Peace.